Hydroxychloroquine is not a cure for COVID. It's not a preventative either. And right now, it doesn't even seem like it's that great of a treatment. That's science, not politics. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to sift through the misinformation and figure out what the science actually says. Welcome to Debunk the Funk, I'm Dr. Wilson, and let's start with this page that I've seen shared a lot around social media. It's a page that claims that hydroxychloroquine is effective in both treating and preventing COVID-19. It makes this argument by compiling a lot of studies, and it looks really convincing to someone who doesn't know what they're looking at. One misleading thing that pops out right away is that almost half of the studies it includes are not peer-reviewed. You can tell which ones are not peer-reviewed by looking for this RxIV in the journal title. This RxIV just means that the authors did the study, wrote the paper up, and submitted it to a journal, but they haven't had it peer-reviewed yet. But it appeared on this server so that the results can be out to the scientific community faster, because peer review can take a really long time and significantly change what a paper is able to conclude, because the peer reviewers are going to look for every problem possible. So if you find a paper like this that hasn't been peer reviewed yet, but it's available for you to look at on a preprint server, that doesn't mean that the results are invalid, but it also means you shouldn't be making strong conclusions about what it says. The second thing you want to pay attention to when looking at these papers is how was the study done? If you look at a lot of them, they might say things like observational or retrospective study. If we just go down the list, we can see right away, this says observational study, this one, it says that it's a retrospective study. This next one, also a retrospective case study. This is important because what we really want in determining whether or not a medication is effective in treating a disease is a controlled study. And a retrospective study and observational study are not controlled by the researchers. In other words, instead of the researchers actually designing a study and then gathering data from it, Observational and retrospective studies involve the researchers just looking at data that other people have gathered from a variety of sources and maybe in a variety of ways. Now again, if you see a paper like this, don't immediately discount its findings. It's not useless, but you also can't make strong conclusions based on it. For example, this paper from that long list of papers state that even though their results suggest that hydroxychloroquine might help treat COVID, that more studies are needed in order to support this. They're not concluding outright that hydroxychloroquine is a good treatment or a cure for COVID. That paper also highlights another limitation of a lot of these studies that claim to show that COVID-19 can be treated with hydroxychloroquine. And it's that the patients in the study had other medications too. They were receiving not just hydroxychloroquine, but other things. Doctors were trying to save their lives after all. So that means that if the patient got better and got hydroxychloroquine, but also other medications, you can't say it was the hydroxychloroquine that made them better. You need controlled trials for that. And there are some controlled trials available for you to read right now that test whether or not hydroxychloroquine is good at treating COVID. And the general consensus is that it's not. Here's one example. This is a randomized, controlled, but not double-blind study that involved 667 patients, and what they found was that hydroxychloroquine didn't seem to help more than the standard care that any patient would receive. Here's another big one that was also randomized and controlled. It involved thousands of patients and found no significant clinical benefit for hydroxychloroquine. There are still many studies ongoing trying to figure out whether or not hydroxychloroquine can have any benefit at all for COVID patients. And so they might find that there is some use, but right now we can definitely say that hydroxychloroquine is not a cure for COVID. And it looks like it's not a good treatment either. It's also worth pointing out that just recently, a study came out looking at the effectiveness of hydroxychloroquine in treating or preventing COVID-19 in a primate model. Now, this study does have its limitations. Of course, what happens in animals does not necessarily mean that it's going to be true for humans. But COVID-19 can infect primates, and so they are a good model to study this. Now, this paper was peer-reviewed and published in Nature, which is one of the highest tier science journals you can ever publish in. Trust me, it's really hard to publish there. 
and what these researchers found was that hydroxychloroquine didn't seem to have any antiviral effects, meaning it couldn't prevent COVID from infecting these primates and it couldn't treat them once they got infected. That's the most up-to-date science we have on hydroxychloroquine and COVID. Unfortunately, it just doesn't look like it's a good treatment, which sucks because it would be great to have one of those right now. At the end of the day, believing that we have a cure or treatment for a disease when in fact we don't is dangerous. So please beware of people cherry picking papers online and trying to use them to convince you that we have a cure for something that we don't have a cure for. That's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you found it informative and can now go read the science with a little bit more confidence instead of relying solely on news outlets to give you your information. And if you want any practice in reading those sources, the links to all the sources that I use in this video are in the description below. This has been Debunk the Funk, I'm Dr. Wilson, and if you like this video, maybe subscribe so you can join me next time where I'll be debunking some more funky stuff. See you then.